Hi, my name is Neil Good. I'm with the Good Law Group, and today I'm going to be talking about how to win a Social Security disability case if you have arthritis. If you have any questions or we can help you with a disability case, you can reach us at 800-419-7606 or through our website, thegoodlawgroup.com. So arthritis, there are two main types of arthritis that we see at our firm that we win cases with. The two are osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. So osteoarthritis is typically diagnosed with an x-ray. Some people call it wear and tear arthritis. And then um, also sometimes we see an MRI that shows like inflation around, inflammation around the joints, not inflation. Uh, the other kind of arthritis that we see a lot of cases with is rheumatoid arthritis. And typically, rheumatoid arthritis is diagnosed with blood tests. And then they usually have three or four blood tests. One of them is a rheumatoid factor, but sometimes that's negative. That's called uh, seronegative rheumatoid arthritis. And then there's three other ones that they use, ESR, CRP, and anti-CCP. So those are kind of the, the main four blood tests that we see um, with rheumatoid arthritis. My suggestions to winning a case are, number one, Go to the doctor every month and document your pain. Document it in such a way that it is helpful to your disability case. And what I mean by that is doctors always talk about the pain scale. Social Security loves the pain scale because to them, if you're a nine in pain, you can go swim a marathon. You know, um, That's why it's better to use what I would call work function limitations when you're talking to your doctor. So, for example... Doctor, my arthritis is so bad in my back, I can only sit for 10 minutes and I have to stand up for five. Or, you know, my arthritis is so bad in my hip or my knee that I have to sit down after standing five minutes and I have to stay seated for five minutes. Or I can't walk very far. Or if you have arthritis in your hands and you say every time, my arthritis in my hands is so bad that I can't type on my laptop, I can't use my cell phone, or I can use it for five minutes, or I keep dropping things. So those are three good ways to document what's wrong with you. If you say your pain is one out of 10 and you say it's an eight or a nine or even a 10, they just kind of say, well, but you got, it's a 10. But if it repeatedly says you have this limitation that would work out to be a work function limitation, then they have a problem because it repeatedly says the same thing and it's not like the doctor's disagreeing. So you've got a diagnosis and then you've got the limitation in the medical record repeatedly. So the other thing is, is the example I give people is, let's say I have two people who have rheumatoid arthritis. One goes to the doctor every six months and one goes to the doctor every month. The judges can't give everybody benefits. So it takes two years to get to court. One person's been to the doctor 24 times and one person's been to the doctor four times. So one person's had their pain and limitations documented four times and one person's had their pain and limitations documented 24 times. You're the judge, you can't give everybody benefits. Who are you gonna give them to? It's obvious. The person you're going to give them to is the one who's been to the doctor 24 times. I don't care if you have the same blood work, the same statements, the same height, same weight, same x-ray, same MRI. Basically, the more you go to the doctor, the easier it is to win. I hope this has been helpful. If we can assist you with a Social Security disability case, you can reach out to us at our website, The Good Law Group, or you can call us at our 800 number, which is 1-800-419-7606.